add it again. It's going to be one of these. Well, it's going to be a home day today, I'm thinking. Um, it's 3 o'clock, and we're still home in our pajamas. But it just feels like we've been doing so much ripping and running, and I am totally exhausted. So I'm just trying to make sure that I get some rest and like build myself up. I'm going to take some vitamins and stuff today. And we've been trying to eat healthy. And so, um, and then really, honestly, it's been a crappy last two months, literally. <laughs> In every essence of the word. It's been a crappy last two months. Gabriel has been on medication that we didn't know if it constipated him, made him have the diarrhea. I'm telling you, we have dealt with so much crap and diaper changing, which we were past for a long time. You know, we haven't had to deal with that for so long, but that's just all part of the autism journey. And um, it's just, sometimes it just takes a toll on you. So yeah, yeah, a lot of them have, do have gut issues. So our Gaby baby, he's pressing his way. He is <laughs> trying to get his gut back here. We've been giving him good probiotics, trying to put good stuff back in his gut and um, trying to make sure that he's not constipated. Uh, but I'm telling you, it's been crappy over here, literally. So, um... All right, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, gang. Having a burgundy day. Aw, you come and put your arms around. Oh, you want tickle, 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 tickle. We're here at the doctor's office and um, we're getting stressed out. <laughs> Gabriel, this crap. Oh, God. We're showing the doctor all these pictures of crap before and after. <laughs> and sometimes it feels like your life has become that. But I just want to encourage you. That no matter, matter how much crap you have to change, your life is not a bunch of crap. It feels like it sometimes. Sometimes you feel like this is just a bunch of crap. I mean, we're sitting up here showing the doctor, this is the crap before. This is the crap before. So anyway. In spite of all the travel, you guys have seen us. I think we've traveled almost a month out of the first four months of the year, 30 days or so we've been gone. Praise God that we've been able to do that. But at the same time, we've been traveling with all that. So anyway, this is my first meal of the day. I'm drinking a cup of French vanilla coffee, which I'm so enjoying. I added some Garden of Life protein to it with um, a cup of almond milk. And so this has got 22 grams of protein in it and about three net carbs. And so I will gobble, gobble, gobble this down over the next hour or so. I'm gonna make Quentin some spaghetti for dinner him and Gabe and then I still have some um spinach and um what was that spinach and beyond meat little like the beyond meat feisty meatballs or whatever I still have some of that left so I'm going to put some of that on a bed of lettuce and have a big salad so that doesn't go to waste I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm not consumed by food since we've been eating more plant-based. Like, I don't feel like I'm always trying to figure out what I'm going to eat. I'm so hungry or whatever. I mean, I do get hungry, but it's like when I get hungry, I know like I'm going to go. Yesterday when we went to Aldi's, like I just stood, th stood at the... <laughs> I just stood there and opened up the pepitas after we paid for them and just sat there and ate the pepitas because I was so hungry and my body was needing something. It needed some food, it needed some fuel. But other than that... Like, I don't feel like, oh, what restaurant are we going to eat at? I'm like, it really doesn't matter because we can't eat nothing but rabbit food anyway. So anyway, but you guys, I'm totally loving how I'm feeling. I'm feeling great. My um, fat rolls seem like they're coming down a little bit and um, just feeling good overall. Just feel better. Feel better eating. Don't feel as heavy and sluggish and tired. I don't feel ever feel tired after I eat. Now, I always feel just, I feel good. And sometimes you, you're so used to feeling tired, like you got to go take a nap. You know how we get, so <laughs> you know how you can get, you know, tired after you eat. But I'm not feeling like that since I've been eating plant-based. So anyway, you guys, thanks for following us on our journey. 
I'm going to put together a bookshelf today and I'll just do some home cleaning, some spring cleaning. So I'll show you guys a little bit of before and afters. It's very, very messy. I think that's one of the downfalls of going, going, going all the time because you put all your energy outward instead of inside. And so today I'm going to try to put some energy on the inside over the next, I guess, 36 hours. Try to be home and uh, put some TLC on the house, get some order in the court. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put together a, a shoe rack. Did I say bookshelf earlier? Might have. I'm going to put together a shoe rack that I just got in from Amazon. These are my last two shoe racks that I need to put together. And once these shoe racks are put together, I will have enough shoes to hold about 350 pairs between all the closets. So if I have more than 350 pairs, shame on me. But at least they'll be organized. Okay? So anyway, stay tuned. We'll show you what we do today, how the shoe rack looks, and how we're going to clean up all of this mess. We're going to take it room by room by room. We're going to get rid of whatever doesn't bring us joy. <laughs> the way you know that you need to do spring cleaning is when you have, you open up your things and stuff is falling out. <laughs> The other big way you need to know you need to do some spring cleaning is when you can't find your blender. I have a, all these blenders here, <laughs> and I couldn't find the top to the blender. So, obviously, it's hidden by something. So what I'm going to do, I'm intending to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm chopping up the red... Red, green, and orange peppers for spaghetti using these handy dandy old fashioned chopper. This is what the old folks used to use. I guess I'm an old folk now. I never thought it would be. Yeah, I'm just trying to put it in the thing. Ninja. Mm. Anyway, so I got them all chopped up, guys. All chopped up. I got my olive oil, Italian seasoning, and this smells so good, guys. The olive oil and the seasoning it smells so delicious all the peppers in there mm -hmm. i'm just going to let this like saute for a little bit put the lid on it just so the peppers can get a little warm then i'm going to add my sauce okay Mm -hmm. The sauce looks good, guys, and the meat is cooking, and I am throwing pans and pots and all kinds of stuff away. I got bags and boxes and blenders. I'm going to go through all these old cups up here. I don't know how in the world we have all this crap. We're getting rid of all this crap. I can't even find what I'm looking for. So that's what I'm doing, going through this stuff. I never use this stuff, never, ever, none of it. Not nothing over here hardly do I ever use. So, getting rid of it. Baby's on his bike, having some outdoor time. It's been a pretty indoor day for us. It's been a pretty busy indoor day for us. I had all these fans of everything else I'm going to get done today, but it doesn't seem like anything has happened but cooking spaghetti and finding my blender piece that I couldn't find, but I want you guys to look at how good Gabriel is pedaling. Look at this. I don't even have a speech strapped in because he's doing so good pedaling on his own. He's not steering as you can see his ear. Hands are over his ears. 
but he is pedaling. So, major, major progress. Every time we ride this bicycle, I'm just so thankful. Hi! Every time he rides this bike, I'm so thankful to the Lord because it just took so much to get to this place that for him to be able to ride independently, well, not independently, but without me moving his feet. <laughs> so for him to be able to pedal independently without me or mommy moving his feet is such a blessing. Okay, you guys, good morning. It's a new day, one the Lord has made, and, and Gabriel is off with his therapist, getting his physical therapy. Gabriel and Star and working out with the physical therapist. And there they go. So you see how it takes two people. One on each leg, getting him to move and pedal the right direction. And they're off. Over and out. Have a blessed day. It took so much just to get to this place. And he's doing so good. I'm so proud of him. So we're doing a bike ride. And I'm walking behind him. And you guys can see he's so excited. He's got his pretzels in his hands. He's got his glasses on. And I'm walking up the sweat, y'all. So. <sighs> I'm just trying to do something because it's been so beautiful here in Florida. See, mommy's got you going all over the place. No, 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 Gabby, don't. Now he's steering himself. You just went in a circle. If I wanted you to steer, you wouldn't steer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look. What you want? What you wanting? What you want? Keep moving your feet. Round and round. So. Anyway, it's been so beautiful here. I just wanted to make sure we got some exercise today. And he's doing good on his bike. I'm so proud of my baby riding his bicycle. You're doing a good job, Gabe. 